guys, welcome to today's video. I'm doing a quick get ready with me. So I don't work till like later on, so I'm gonna keep my hair up in the hair towel here for a little bit because it needs to dry a little bit more. I was style girl, like fun and out. I don't do anything fancy because I'm just gonna work and it's gonna be up in it. Hair and that ponytail and a hat at work. So I got a little bit of my coffee left. I don't start till 10 o'clock, but I have to leave my house at like 9.30. Ish. So I'm gonna put some moisturizer on because I already get my morning skincare. I've been using the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Booster Moisturizer. I've been liking it. I've been using that in the morning, honestly. It's my fit. It's my my how hydrating it is. I feel like I need hydration in the morning. And then I use the pre with the base. Then I go with my foundation. All that stuff. So I don't know. As of this given moment, my battery has like a hundred percent ish. I threw it on the charger for a little bit, so hopefully it stays in the dark. So let's get into it. What am I gonna talk about today? <coughs> well, well. It's been almost what, three, four months since I've been transferred into my new store. I'm getting every single second of it type thing, so I'm not going to talk about that much, but like, I'm going to go to Shiseido and scan my crushing mask. And as you guys kind of noticed that, and I'm going to go, I've been mixing the uh, Makeup Forever HD skin with the Shiseido. So Shiseido is more of a matte. This is too hydrating for me, so <clears throat> I've been mixing it into like a Kind of a mattish formula, just to give it some of a not so funny. As you guys kind of noticed the last while here, I've only been posting once a week, and that my shifts have been making it very hard for me to get anything going type thing, and plus. There's really been nothing really interesting for me to like post. So, nothing new, nothing like. Nothing has like really caught my attention. Lately. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna fix this in here in a second. I grab my hairbrush and then one of my hair pads. I'm gonna just do this. I thought I was gonna make it through. That on my note. <clears throat> yeah, so. Yeah, so it's been making it. <clears throat> it's been making it very hard for like having time and a lot of stuff. And then when I get home, I'm like. It's the fact that I do have to travel back and forth for work. And it's like making it hard. Like, do I have time? And by the time I get home some days, it's like. I'm tired, so this is more like a hobby for me. It's not like right now. This is like a hobby, something fun to do type thing. It's nothing more. It's nothing serious for me. It's just fun. I just want to get. I want to be. I want being creative type. So I'm like trying to test things out. Like pretty much since like COVID hit. The makeup industry as a whole kind of plummeted. I kind of noticed like any brands that are good, I've noticed that are kind of suffered through it. And so it kind of sucks because like White Beauty is now going out of business. You close your doors. The meat make like a Bite Beauty is going out of business. They just did a huge revamp not that long ago of their whole line and made it 
we did it all. So like, I got some of the lipsticks here, and then, but their bite labs aren't going anywhere. And then Makeup Geek has left. They've been for a long time. Tati Beauty. That one is kind of hurts <laughs> deep down my soul, but deep down I think Tati's gonna be back with her cosmetic line. Just I have a funny feeling she's not dead. I'm seeing this now. You're here at first. She ain't done. She's coming back. It's once these lawsuits are done, she'll be back. It might not be under her name, but it might not be Tati Beauty. It, it'll be probably be under not not I'm not saying Halo either, but I'm like I'm saying like. I can also see her something, but then again, I don't think she wants to work with anyone anymore. I was after what she's been through with Clarky and Hayla and stuff, so I won't see her working with anyone else. And then you see other ones of like, there was Becca that went out. I think there's Becca that went out because of COVID and then all sorts of things. Anything that's good has left. And then the people who keep on thriving and still doing good and you're questioning their morals. I'm like, I never purchase anything on this brand. I just hear it. I mean, Frank Chaco Hill. How come she can keep releasing products and yet anyone who's any good leaves and they have to close down? Not any makes sense. So there's that. There's a few things like I got intrigued me by Smashbox, but not really. I'm gonna go into my NARS in bronzer. <laughs> I'm loving this. But too bad it's like only uh only did time thing when I picked it up. It just sucks. I still got quite a bit left of it, but still. I'm looking crazy. I know. What's your favorite, like, creamy bronzer out there that you like? So let me know. I got the Fenty Beauty Fenty one. Fenty cream. Fenty Beauty one. Not a huge fan of it. Not my favorite. I think Elf might have one, I think. Might give Elf one a try if I can find it type thing. I've been into like creams lately and like going into like summer. I'm into that creamy. I've been into the cream for a little bit while, but like, so like, I still use my blender pool time and time again, so. And my like my favorite makeup tool, like I got some stuff up off of Amazon, but <clears throat> I haven't quite found one that I like the most. So. on here or not but like my Tati B palette is put away in a safe spot. I'm not using that anymore. It's like it's she's been quite used quite well let's keep it this way. So and then there's also another brand that's coming out I heard that he's working on. It has to do with James Charles like 
got guy I even has to be a belt. That's my opinion. I'm gonna end it there. So yeah. I'm not too heavy on the blush today, I think. So I'm gonna put some powder down. Going with the Laura Mercier. I'm actually gonna pick up the Laura Mercier like cream blush because it looks pretty interesting. I'm into like creamy plushy stuff right now. I've been wanting to pick up the honest one for the longest time. I guess I got the Milani one here. It's not too bad, and I got the by Daycation one here. And I got some the Queel one. Like the Queel one's okay, but it's not my favorite. It does some too. I'm more into like the ones that are in the palette style type thing. Like, yeah. Nothing too much. And it comes from when it comes to eyeshadow right now. That's where it's like another like where it's like no. There's something like gravitating like grabbing me like you have to have this in the collection but mac kind of dropped something kind of like okay that is like you could change my makeup like ooh, i kind of want it kind of want it i don't want it they they they, they, they drop they could like these stranger things collection I'm like okay i look you want to try that type thing i know mac Eyeshadows are pretty good. Some pretty cool. They got some brushes. They got the lip gloss. So, might pick up something in my collection here. Okay, so I'm gonna put some matte paint pot on, and then because like there's like nothing lately for like. And then I was like looking at like the uh, I was what was it? it was asked me on Sephora like this was like a while ago. Maybe if you Sephora a few times, but like did I just turn off? So I'm gonna play with probably with hmm. I kind of need organize, reset my stuff here so different angle on things. So. I don't know if you guys see this piping situation here. I apologize. So, I'm probably gonna play the dash. I don't know. Probably the lilac pilot. And maybe with a little bit of a little palette. Boom. for a while back I was watching some Pat McGrath stuff. I was like, oh Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath plot products always kind of between Pat McGrath and Natasha did on it always kind of like peak me in a way. And I was like she has this um Burlington collab with Burlington or yeah so like Here, I'm gonna find a photo of it here and I'm gonna show you guys. I like how it's watched. Everything was like okay, but what kind of thing was like let, let me left it there was the freaking packaging. I was like, no. If it wasn't so chunky, I would probably bought it. If it wasn't so chunky, or like the, the packaging itself wasn't so chunky, I probably would have picked it up. I'm not the only one that was like saying the same thing about it, but like, okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. It was 
like mostly the packaging for me like okay i'm not interested yeah, i'm going into that color here in the crease I'm using one of my older, what, 222, 224 brushes from MAC. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, yeah, like, then there's just like the. Um, it's really hard to like. I want to spend money on a palette, but it's like one hundred seventy dollars. So like, eek. and then like the uh, Burlington Mothership Bella Eyeshadow Palette was like eighty six for like six shadows. went up price. I'm gonna four dollars now. And that's gonna make it hard to invest in these luxury versions of these palettes because it's so expensive. But yeah, even the drugstore out here is just expensive. Okay, let's see. E6. Yeah, so the pastel one, I'm really good now. Yeah, it's like nothing lately. Like, I even picked up like this palette, and it's like older version that's been up for a while and I picked it up on sale so I'm playing with that. It would actually to be fair I had this palette in I am not for a long this time so I'm like oh eight six dollars I'm gonna play for that price. So am I going I have an idea what going oh, I look so really tiny nope am I split play today? Yep. I'm gonna go on probably this pure love shade over the eye. It's probably the one I use the most, probably over the top of the looks of it. I like the color of it. Like I like the maze. Like this is the, prior, this is her regular size palette here, this is with the mini and then, I do like a lot of palettes, for sure. This is where I can find Natasha Denona's, even though they kind of cost a little bit, but they're more affordable than Pat McGrath. To see the more shades. The only time I will actually pick up Pat McGrath is this when she does her um, holiday collection. Because I have like two of them, which I actually both of them really enjoy. I'm gonna highlight with my face palette from Natasha Denona. I actually forget I have this sometimes. So that's why sometimes I will play with some of the collected items I forget about I have type thing.
I'm gonna line my eyes with my hair wet. Right. I picked up the Sephora collection. I mean, actually, I picked up a few Sephora collection other uh, eye pencils, which I really like. I like, what, four shades for that? I like the one that's just for a collection of eye pencils are actually really nice pencils. I got the matte black one, I got a gold one, the purple, and then the brown. And then a black. Don't put a flashlight. <coughs> It's easy to glide on that, so I, I like about them. And then what I do too, sometimes I'll do it with a purple. on the lower lash. So what I've been like doing lately is I picked up some new Maybelline lip case shades. I picked up 105 Pink Wink. It looks like it comes off really like shiny. And I also picked up Lust for Blush. I might go with this one. And then what I do too is all I like doing is add Fair Reveal 177 on top. Give it like a nice muted pink look. And I'm gonna throw my brow, some brow, well, air brow, cosas. Miss my face with some dribble blend. Give it a quick shake shake. I'm not a huge fan of this, but I'm gonna use this and stick off it. Oh. I always do my lashes last after I miss the face. It's just a thing, I don't know why. Don't. I don't know why. And I'm gonna go with some Bambi Lash from L'Oreal. Yeah, 
know, so I want to try to do videos of like maybe doing a shock mustache. And then like going through my collection, do what, what my recommends of each thing I own here to clear some of the stuff. I've already, I got things I think I already decluttered anyways because it's like getting pretty old so it has to go. They're like being pig wenched to the point where they're drying out so. And I don't really like it anyways, I haven't touched it in a while. Like I have so many different ideas lined up, but just, just just don't have the time to like sit down and do it. It's just when I get home from work, cause I work at you know, like eight before thirty shows. I get home and then I'm like want to eat food, sit down, watch TV for a little bit, catch up on like cause I'll watch Riverdale. I'll watch The Good Doctor, then I'll watch The Young Children. Those are the three shows that I like sit down and watch. So, should I really watch this day? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? I've been actually testing out these Sephora weightless false lashes everyday flare. These are these everyday flare ones. Actually, I actually really do enjoy them. The first ones out of the Sephora collection I've actually been really enjoying lately. It looks so easy to pop on too. So light and weightless. Ah, you pop up. Oh, get back on there. Look at there, like, pretty easy to put on. It's just sticking to my finger. So I want to share my skincare routine one of these days with you guys. Well, I'm not exactly like, I'm not gonna like do like the whole routine on camera, but like sh grab all my stuff out of the bathroom and do it together. But like, I just haven't got a chance to do that. I 
like I said, I'm like I get home from work, I just want to eat and like eat food, chill out, and then go to bed and start over the next day. So it might change the days of. Let's see, look, without me struggling so much, it is legit dying as we speak. So I'll see you the belt, and I hope that I see you guys again. Bye!